What's up? Hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Uh uh. Random stream? It's not a random stream. What? So today, um, today is a special request. So um, after today, if when I do uh, account reviews, I'm gonna actually post a form, and I am gonna, I am gonna choose out of that form. Um, so that's how it's gonna work now. Um, yeah. So the system that I used before was also a form but I I posted it like a couple days before and like I would get people and I would never get their information and then it will make um it will make the whole like whole stream ruined so I'm actually going to upload the form um on that day and then whoever uh is interested is going to fill it out and then I'm going to choose uh you know choose randomly from there My storage? My storage is maxed. Yeah. My storage is maxed right now. Rainbow crystals? You mean rainbow cubes? Rainbow cubes is like the currency of the currency. It's like the uh, the most expensive currency. My day's been good, Fishy. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of tired. Uh, just because my I do I hate playing. Uh, not gonna lie, like I hate playing rides nowadays. Like it's like everything sucks. Like it's always getting delayed, ruining my day. So I took like what four or five plane rides right so it's like i'm tired and then and also um it's not really like a jet lag but you know uh kelly kelly uh kelly uh with time is two hours uh what do we call it behind us right behind me so like kind of tired but i i mainly think it's from the mainly from the, 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 the plane rides I hate like I don't know what it is about the planes now it's just like I used to be okay with it but now it's like dude it sucks and I was making videos back when I was still in vacation not the best quality but you know I was still making it I actually just took a nap before I uh, I got on. <laughs> yeah, I just took a nap before I got on. So that's this probably uh yeah. Hard to cast the cats are fine. They're they're outside right now. Yeah. They're outside playing around. They've been good. They've been good. Yeah. These been good. Let's do some of these. Okay. Do you guys know if the glitch got 
got got fixed. Oh, double. Uh, I'm gonna start it like in a couple minutes. Oh, another double. Oh, another double. What the? It's pulling doubles. Uh, the glitch where it was not a glitch, but oh, do you call that a glitch? Well, there was the thing where um, it will uh, mess up your whole thing. Like it'll mess up the uh, like the reset. It will reset the timer. Wait, I should not have bought that. I should have bought this. And the coins. Damn, I'm kind of stupid. Shoot. I should have bought the... Yeah, I should have bought the coins. There's so much more worth it right now for me. I need these, all these coins. And then I'm going to buy all the Radiant Shards. Uh, I don't know. I could care less about the Rainbow Cubes, to be honest. But, yeah, Radiant Shard is something that I should buy. Well, this there's this thing is, like, literally preference, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah. I would say that's preference. Do I? I've been... Thankfully, thankfully, the topping, you know, the burning thing on my jig right here, this thing is saving my butt. Like, not even joking. This thing is saving my butt. Like, holy moly. Like, if I didn't have that thing, then my coin would have been already, like, depleted. Literally saving my butt. Day's been good. Day's been good. Thanks for asking, all you guys. <coughs> Um, specifically about the, uh, episode 14, uh, guide, are you guys referring to just the entire episode 14 in general, or, uh, specific, inf specific ones, like, uh, you know, um, like, you don't want to talk about, like, 14-22, dude, I, honestly speaking, like, I have to try 14-22 again, I have no idea how to beat it, I'm gonna be real with you guys. After the silence, uh, silence buff, Alfagato 1422 is like, I, I just don't know how, is, how it works anymore. Like, it's changed so much that I don't know how, how I'm gonna do it. Like, I can't even do it on dark mode, I sh I'm sure. Like, trying to do it in dark mode, like... I don't I don't know if I can do it. The normal mode, normal mode, I can just, you know, I can just push through it. But like for dark mode, I don't know if I can do this anymore. It's just so I don't I don't know, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I am just I'm, I'm confused. Very confused. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> All right, let's um, let me do my dailies real quick, and then um, crunchy dark cacao, wallberry parfait, and pure vanilla. It's that after the silence buff or before the silence buff? If it's after the silence buff, then I might try it out, and then uh, I might be I might share it, but. Oh really? Does it work? Well, does it work well? Auto? Auto or non-auto?
Okay. Maybe I can try it. What was it? Part BP of vanilla. And it's dark mode. <laughs> what was the what was the uh what was the it was a feather? And this and this was a feather or scythe? Ah, oh, yeah, scythe. That's what I thought. <coughs> Oh, my toppings are all over the place. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm not focused on the arena right now, so. I'll fix it later. I think it doesn't cost any. 2,600? That's so cheap. Like, that is so cheap. Is that a mistake or is it good? Huh? For dark mode, people use crunchy shit with wallberry. I'm worried about dark mode when the new ancient comes out. She might be helpful if she doesn't kill himself. <coughs> Save up your diamond? <coughs> That's literally on you. <laughs> it's like it's like you just gotta save it up. You just not you just gotta fight the urges to spend it. That's what it is, right? It's like, it's like, you know, it's like asking somebody how to save money. Well, I guess that's, that's a little different, but. Luckiest gacha pull was four epics. Yeah, four epics. No, even four whales, we, we save crystals. We don't, I don't, I don't just randomly spend diamonds. Like, the reason why I always have so much is I never spend my crystals or anything after I, after that first day. Like, I don't, you know. Like I said, I only spent, what, last update was the easiest update for me because, you know, for me, I, I didn't need to spend money. Like, I literally spent like 20 something dollars and that was it. Because of the magic candies, that was it. Like I did not spend any money, which I was I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> I didn't need to spend more money than no, normally. So. How do I get better at toppings? You just gotta keep playing. Toppings is a grind. It's it's just a grind, literally. How do you get better toppings early game? No, in the early game, it's all luck, guys. It's really all luck. Got, uh, topping, topping upgrades are all luck. It's just all dependent on how you upgrade. And I, I made a video on how to upgrade toppings. Um, topping upgrade comes down to whether, you know, you're actually upgrading the right toppings or not. 
Right, topping upgrade comes down to plus 6, plus 9, and plus 12. You should never be upgrading plus, uh, over plus 6 if it's, or plus 9 I would say. You know, sometimes you could give it, give some extra for plus, uh, plus 6. But you should not be upgrading past the uh, plus, plus 9 if it's not the, if you, if the two substats that you got are not the, de uh, substats that you want. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, that was close, okay. Okay, that was extremely close. Uh, I mean, uh, it's it worked. Definitely worked. Definitely worked out. Triple tank. But I don't know if that's gonna be the best thing. Using cotton is better, is it? Let's try cotton. I can see why cotton is gonna be better too, cause. Just because cotton has the, as a stinking, uh, the sheeps. You have 14 or uh, 17k? Wow, that's a lot. That's more than I do. Can milk tank the Yes, let me try that after this. That's a very interesting one. Yeah. I'll try the I'll try the tanking uh Afogado's uh the thing. And then because if it is able to if it's able to taunt it, right, then it could cleanse it afterwards too. So very interesting one. I think that's gonna be a very interesting uh one to try out. Like we can try to replace um replace Wildberry for uh milk and then Try to see if that works out. I like that. Direct. Nice thinking. Cast going crazy. Oh, yeah. Cotton is working way better, guys. Just because we get more damage and then heal over time. So. Oh, my God. It's so much easier. And Crunchy getting extra damage boost from, uh, from Cotton's buff. Oh. I've ha I have watched Dragon Ball Z. I actually grew up watching that. Okay, yes. This is actually a lot better. That is, this is definitely a lot better. Is cleanse the same as purify? Yes, it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, let's go with milk. Do I give milk? Uh, where should I give milk though? Full, full almond? Should get full almond, right? 12 seconds. How long does it last for? 5.8 seconds? Okay. We'll get full almond and see how it works out. I mean, it's just to check to uh, check it out, you know, if if that taunt is actually gonna work out or not. I'm interested in uh, seeing if the taunt works out. I don't know if I want to use. Ah, I should use it. Uh, I don't know if I want to use it, just because this guy's gonna take all the, all of the st injury stacks. So I don't know if I want to use this skill before I get into the thing, though. Can I replace Crunchy with Holly? Um, not in this one. 
The reason why Crunchy is so good in this one is because, or any boss is really, why the reason why Crunchy is so good is because of the attack speed slow. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me see this. Okay. Oh no, I got onto a dark cacao on that one. Dark cacao ticket. I need to use it like as soon as possible. Oh, it still goes on dark cacao. I taunted it. It's not using a skill, so I can't tell. She's grabbing the window cell, that's why. Yeah, milk tank the injury, but injury is not what 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 you want the milk to tank. You, the 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 poison is what milk wants to tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want milk to tank the poison. That's what you. That's what the goal is. Um, let's just... Uh, actually, we do need Dark Cow. Well, well, let's try it one more time. I, I kind of did uh, slow down on the scale thing, so. Uh, after the tier list, or after the update, tier list, I would say milk is around like A plus tier. I don't necessarily think milk is like the best or anything like that. Um. Rai, however, is in the S, S tier. S tier. Yeah, S tier. Yeah. Okay, I used to taunt early. Nah, it still goes to Darker Cow. I used the taunt as soon as it came up. It's still going to Darker Cow. So... I mean, I guess if that's the case, if this is the case, like, you know, my strat from before has not really changed too much. I mean, I did suggest using content. I already said suggesting using um, Parfait. I, su said, I suggested using Dark Account. I think the only thing that we really need to change here is Crunchy Chip at this moment. Right? That was uh because I I don't know what my team was back when I shared it with you guys. It's like way 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 earlier. So I guess we can use Finisher as well. Yeah, Finisher seems okay too. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Finisher. Finisher is not bad either. Let's see. Fourteen minus twenty-two. What the heck? 
Let's see what I suggested. What team I suggested. Yeah, 1422 is it, it it got trickier. Like it it became harder to beat after the the thing. I don't know about oyster. Here's the thing about oyster, right? You can use oyster, but is it going to be the best way to do it? No, I don't think so. Oh, it was eclair. Ah, I suggested eclair and caramoro. Probably not caramoro anymore. Yeah. Because Camel Arrow will uh, will die. Actually, hmm, I don't want to check something out here. If if I if I decided to use Camel Arrow here, and I use Camel Arrow with a a half half, right? If I decided to do that, will that work out? What do you guys think? Do you think it will work out? Because you know how she's immune to debuffs? Seventy-eight. I think that's really gonna come down to timing. Don't you guys think? Eleven twenty three. I already made a video on it, or a couple of videos on it. But really, eleven twenty three comes down to two things: can you survive? Um, can you say or survive Wizard's hit, or can you kill Wizard before? It really comes down to that. If you can't kill, then you gotta you gotta go with the strat of uh, saving your cookies. Still gets hit by it. Oh, it nah, you still get hit by it. That curse is kind of busted, not gonna lie. That curse is kind of stupidly busted. Eh, whatever. I mean, I mean, we can use the Wildberry, Dark Cow, and Crunchy build. I think, I think most people can try that. To be honest with you guys, I don't know if how, how far you guys can get in 14-22 or even episode 14 in general without Dark Account. Um, I don't I don't think the silence matters too much. Yeah. I don't know how much the silence will do for you in uh in episode 14-22. Yeah. All right, let's do some account review. This one's gonna be a one that I haven't done in a while. Like account reviews. Hey, don't send me your uh, if accounts. <laughs> I told you forms. Don't send me your accounts. Dude, T9, T9 on 11.23 is suicide. 
That's the literally that's going with the mindset of I guess I guess you can do it. If you if you don't care about if you don't care about three star, then yeah, you can do it. Well, well, not today. Today is today is over. I'm I'm only doing one, and I'm that's it. Uh, but but yeah, I will um I will post it next time before I uh before I do it. Yeah. Uh. <coughs> okay, I got in. There's no best team for uh there's no one best team for the thing right now. Yeah, there's just so many comps nowadays, like, you can't really be like, oh, you know. Yeah, you can't really be like, this is the one best comp anymore. And it's like, it's like you can't. It's not possible. All right, here we go. What server are you on? This is this is Hollowberry server for sure. Yep, this eh? No, never mind. Is this Hollowberry or is this pure vanilla? Hey, is this Hollowberry or Pure Vanilla? I haven't checked the uh, arena in so long. It's Hollowberry, right? Yeah. The only reason why I got confused is this guy right here. This guy? There's a similar name in ho uh, Pure Vanilla server. So that's why I got confused. All right. Well, let's do some account reviews. Uh. Let's collect all these. 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 Uh. All right. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. So haven't been done a, a so haven't done an account review in a while. Um, got a special request today by one of my mods uh, on Discord. Uh, they've been doing a great job in trying to revamp everything. So I decided to kind of uh, you know uh, give back by doing an account review here. Uh, so first of all, let's just look at um, let's just look at the overall kingdom uh, level twelve. So that's that's good right there. Uh, looking like the cookie houses and stuff needs a little bit of work here as well. Level nine, level nine, level nine, level nine. You know, somewhere level eight as well. So, uh, you do have a row of materials. Might as well start working on it. Uh, I know the coins can be a bit of a tough one, but you know, taking advantage of the burning time and things like that, you definitely can uh, do that. Uh, so, I would recommend you do so. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones right here. Let's let's take go to this one and then so Rai. Uh oh. Uh, these are not the ones. So looking like good, 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 good. Uh, windmill definitely can work on it a little bit more. Milk is good. Cotton is good. Overall, Smithy Smithy is not bad either. Um, 
Jammery definitely can work on it a little bit more. I'm struggling with Jammery too as well right now. So, uh, Carpentry. I mean, overall, I would say the overall resource management aspect of things is not too bad. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, you have a decent amount of those. So, yeah, I would say right now, the main thing you should definitely uh, give your attention towards is going to be the uh, cookie houses and the cookie mansions. Level 8 for, um, you know, for level 12 <laughs> castle is not that great. Okay, so definitely I would suggest uh, to upgrade these. And anybody who's wondering uh, whether you should upgrade them as a mansion or whether you should separate them, you should always separate them. Uh, not only does it shorten time, uh, but it is going to, you know, come down to being able to gain more resources over time. Alright, so if you guys are upgrading this and it's costing you like 9 uh, hours to do so, it's going to only cost you 4 hours and whatever minutes, right? Uh, you're going to have it back up that quickly and then you can, uh, you know, just uh, go on to the next one. Or you're just basically, you're still producing while it's... Um, you know, while it's under construction, pretty much. So I would suggest you guys definitely um, to do do uh, your upgrading while uh, it's separated. Okay, uh, definitely not going to be the best way or uh, for your time if you guys don't uh, separate these. Okay, uh, so definitely separate those. Let's go into the uh, lavatory real quick. Uh, this should be maxed out. I would say this should always be maxed out uh, just because it's the best thing. And the smithy. So um, some of the things that I do recommend you guys prioritize with uh, inside of the kingdom side of the lavatory is definitely going to be the craftsmanship. Um, you know, the basic basic production definitely helps out if you guys can. But, you know, it's something that you guys will eventually like pile up on. Uh, next one is going to be uh, the smithy. Smithy is really, uh, really important because of the fact that you are going to use a bunch of the, you know, pickaxes, shovels, saw, uh, you know, the uh, hammers and all uh, the mallets and all of that inside of the lavatory. So you definitely need to um, focus on the smithy. All right. So definitely focus on the smithy. And the next one, I would say, you know, when you have time, go to carpentry, jammery, bakery. Uh, this should definitely already be maxed out. If anything, uh, I would say fountain of abundance is really important here as well. Uh, so you were kind of sure on the windmill. So I would say, you know, uh, put some level on that as well. And yeah, you know, you can see right here, a lot of things are missing. Right now for me, I would say I've been, I've been doing pretty well. Um, you know, I've been I've been uh, investing my more of my time and resources into the lavatory, and yes, it does drain a lot of resources, but it will definitely help out uh, later on. So the late game, it really helps out. So definitely something that I would recommend you guys do. Um, and the cookie side, you definitely worked a lot more on the cookie side, which is good. Uh, so, you know, you can definitely work on it a little bit more. Uh, you should upgrade this later on, just because. Uh, these buffs definitely helps you out uh, later on for the Cookie Alliance. So, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I would say, you know, focus on some of the Kingdom side as well now. Uh, because you've been neglecting that a little bit. Um, now, let's go into the cookies real quick. So, I believe you should have, yeah, you have all of the cookies, all of them promoted. I don't know why you did this. Um, I don't know if this was ever worth it to you. Uh, I don't know. how much, Don't you use the Epic Shards? For this, don't you use the epic soul essence for uh five ascending five this thingy? I'm sure you do. Yeah, uh, don't don't waste your don't waste your epic one. Is it just rare? Oh, okay. Well, still don't waste it. I, I say don't waste it. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. The only one I ever recommend is this one. Blackberry. Blackberry is the only one I will ever recommend for you guys right now because of the guild boss battle. Okay? That's it. Okay? No one else. Because it does not give any extra buff for your bonds or anything like that, right? So it's not worth spending it on your rares and epics if they're not being used at all, right? Only for the Blackberry cookie, it will be worth it. And the rest of them, you should just save it and then use it for uh, your cookies right over here. 
okay like this one right ascension look you're out of this see if you didn't use it for uh ginger brave then you would have had it for crunchy chip right so <laughs> so this is what i'm saying all right so make sure don't waste it don't waste these things it's, it's important for you guys to get the ascension when you guys are able to uh but let's look at let's just look at toppings real quick i think um I'm gonna look at toppings, overall toppings like this. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go look at the main ones here real quick. So we'll go into the uh, 5.8. These are really good. Okay. So overall topping management aspect of things, I would say these are pretty darn decent uh, damage resist toppings overall. I mean, if you're playing the game uh, regularly then you definitely can uh, work off of this uh, right now especially just because of the fact that you're able to um, you're able to remove topping so quickly right and tr so cheaply cheaply I would say uh, you know it's not gonna hurt too much uh, but let's see something like this this is definitely for just skill boss battle zero percent damage is this right now so uh, but yeah that one's good uh 5.1 4.8 definitely raspberry you can work on a little bit more uh this is a little too low on the yeah so i would say right now for you it would mainly be topping farming yeah topping farming is still something that you, you should not you should not be neglecting your topping farming guys like every single day i still go and Go to 8-29 whenever I have extra 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 uh, stamina, and I just farm the crap out of this. Like not even joking. Like I ch I do this every single day, right? I just use the time jumper. If I don't have time jumper, I just you know I just put it on auto. Uh, put on some of the uh, the the treasures that give uh, the coins, so I can just get spare coins here and there. But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys um, work on this. This is definitely something that you still need to focus on whether the burning event is here or not this is just temporary right you want to be working on uh topping farming while this is available okay so definitely something that you want to work on um you should not be neglecting well let's look at the overall story real quick i should oh, shoot uh, let's see okay so dark mode it's just dark mode um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now dark mode all comes down to specs later on uh, especially the uh, Higher level of the episode 14 it comes down to your specs of your cookies like whether they're really really good or not So something like this 48% um, that's good. I would say a little bit more on dark cacao is required 41.8% is a bit low um, Especially just because you know episode 14 is stupid Okay, um, and then uh, no damage resist and pomegranate is suicide. Um, no damage resist on eclair is suicide, and also no damage resist on cotton is suicide. I'm sure you you kind of put these uh, for something else, but if I were to go into this right now with this team, it will be uh, suicide. Okay, uh, so definitely don't recommend doing this. Uh, definitely something you should be uh, still, uh, you know, you should still be focusing on the damage resist. So a lot of you guys are saying 40% damage resist is rare. It's not really rare. If you really focus on the topping farming, it is not like a rare, rare thing. Like it's a standard, guys. It's something that you need to have and you need to start working towards. It's not something that you should be like, oh, it's rare, so I can't get it. No, it's not. Um, I have plenty of cookies that I can make over plus 40. Um, you know, it's not like extremely, extremely hard. It's something that you guys can slowly work towards, okay? Uh, so please, uh, don't think that it's like super hard. All you need to do is really, uh, you know, keep playing and things like that. You just, if you don't play the game and if you don't do topping farming, then you're just not going to be able to do it, right? It's like, it's like, it's like complaining that you don't have money, but you're not working for it. All right. So it's the same thing. So don't, don't think that it's like impossible. You need to work towards it. Okay. Uh, let's look at some guild uh, teams here. Uh, let's see. Avatar. Okay. Um, what? That's not the team you're using, right? I'm, I'm hope. 
hoping that it's not the team you're using. I'm gonna hope that this is the team you're using. Uh, probably shouldn't use this team for uh, for this. Clotted, clotted triggers the uh, reflection thing. The reversal. So don't use clotted in this case. Um, might as just while we use blackberry here. If, if this is the case. Like you can literally use blackberry and you'll have better outcome I think. Because the moment moment you get stacked on the, um, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the damage resist part, or like uh, the reversal stack, then this guy takes less damage, and then you'll just uh, mess up the entire run. So I don't suggest doing that. Um, I'm going to think that this is the team that you're using for Abyss. For the higher level Abyss, it works. Um, this pomegranate is going to die, I think. I'm gonna guess that pomegranate is gonna die. Cotton might die here too. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, overall, it it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is the team you're working for. Uh, the dragon here. Mm, you don't need to have this for the dragon. Uh, you don't need this. Yeah, you don't need this one. You just need to go with full uh full attack. Dark, uh, Dark Choco doesn't die by the dragon as long as uh, you use your cotton skill properly. And I believe 24.2 is not the right one. I think it's 24.3, right? Yeah, I believe it's 24.3%. So you're missing that 1%. I could be wrong. Uh, but, you know. And then Vampire, good. Eclair, good. Afogato, good. Alphagato, you can definitely give a little bit more crit and attack if you want to. But, yeah, I mean, Dragon Team is not bad either. So, you're doing 92. I mean, yeah, it's not a bad. You've been, you've been hitting a lot more Abyss, I can see, right? So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. I would say the, I mean, okay, you better be doing this, uh, the keys sitting at max, uh, don't want to be wasting your keys and the refresh time, uh, but let's look at the arena topping, uh, arena team now, who in the world is this? 45% is good, yes, 45% is pretty good. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, uh, uh, not worth it. Not worth it. Okay. The only reason why, the only reason why this might work is because it's Hollerberry server. All right. And it will work in pure vanilla server if you're lower ranked, but like 5.5% damage is this is like very low. It's like extremely low. Like, insanely low okay <laughs> so i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend sacrificing so much damage resist just for a bit of cooldown um you know it's just not worth it it's just not worth it this okay for 30 percent you know you can work off of that but uh affogato zero percent damage resist 13 percent 13 percent is okay okay uh 19.4% pretty good. Okay. You guys complain about put some respect on Hollerberry server. You guys got to know play in pure vanilla server for a week and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? You, you, like you know, the things the things I share in pure vanilla server, you bring it literally into Hollerberry server and you'll just become like, I don't know, you you you'll go up crazy, okay? Um you guys playing in a Hollerberry server can't complain too much. Uh, let me let me just tell you that. And the PvP aspect of things, it's just you can't. You just can't. Okay. Not only are you dealing with the uh, day one players, but you're also working with like the massive massive whales. Okay. So I, you know, you guys can't complain. All right. It's just I'm just literally talking from experience as well as from the facts. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay, like, I don't know. I don't know how well this team will work inside of, if I use this team right now inside of my per, uh, pure vanilla server, sheesh, 
this thing gonna blow up because look 5.5 percent avogado is just gonna die from like one uh espresso skill okay that that's just what's gonna happen man <laughs> so that's what i'm just saying it's it th the topping settings and everything is gonna come down to like the servers yeah definitely but you know what you should still work towards is you know you should still be working towards what you would kind of use in the pure vanilla server that's like the best uh scenario right uh so i don't know about using the uh, i don't know about using this right here insignia i would rather use the jelly watch uh for this team just because uh you are lacking a lot in damage resist might as well use jelly watch to keep some of the cookies alive but i mean it, it will it would work out i mean it's not something that you would just uh you know you won't be able to like win or anything like that i mean you're, if you're able to beat some team like this then definitely you you know it, it's working out um yeah you, you're losing to something like this so it's like at this point like if you're versing something like this it'll be a gamble right it's like it's like a do or die it's like, oh, am I gonna really win this or not? It's like, the, if the if the enemy teams has lower damage resistance than you, then um, then you're gonna win. If you have lower damage resistance than the enemy team, like this one probably, you're gonna lose, right? So, it's just it's just how it's gonna become. Uh, in the standard, um, in pure vanilla, if you have five switch chocolate, uh, the standard is trying to have at least twenty percent damage resist. And if you have solid almond, it should be at least 40, 40 to 45% damage resist is the standard. Uh, anything other than uh, solid almond, you should have like at least 20%. And if you have solid almond, then you should have at least 40%. That's kind of like the standard that, you know, we I give it for a pure vanilla server. Like if you don't have that, then you're going to, it's going to become tough later on as you keep climbing the arena just because they're just so much tankier than you. All right, so something like this is something that I can kind of work off of inside of the pure vanilla server, uh, but the rest is kind of low, I would say. It's just how it is, right? Why do you use uh, solid almond? The reason why you use solid almond for caramel arrow right now mainly is because of the fact that there's a lot of vampire. Uh, when vampire uses uh, his skill on caramel arrow, if you have full solid almond, then caramel arrow rarely takes any damage right no crit is triggered or you know crit is not triggered as often um and also you know you just have the tankiness so even if you know espresso uses skill somebody else uses skill you're able to survive all of that damage and still use the arrow uh and still use the skill later on so you know it's it's just a better option as of right now just because also you don't have like a crazy you know tank in the front so it's just better to use solid almond all right uh, but I mean overall account I don't know whoa okay I was about to end it with overall count not being bad what in the world is this that is way too many swords okay or knives or what, what do you want to call it uh, daggers these islands are taking over what is this oh my god you're missing out on so much free stuff. Look. I, this this could be so much higher with all of these. Oh my god. You better be doing this. You better go and clean all this up. This is literally... Literally don't take you too long. It's like you have the 2.5 times speed. You just go and put your, put your best team and then... You know, you just battle it and then they'll just sweep it in like 2 minutes. Oh my gosh. Or just use your time jumper. If you really, really don't want to do this, then use your time jumper. I wouldn't suggest it. But just uh, do this. This is so much free resources that you're wasting here. Like this one right here. This one is giving you stamina jelly. This one's giving you crystals. This one's giving you EXP star jellies. EXP star or stamina jelly right here. This one's giving you coin. This one... Oh, what the? What am I looking at? This one's giving you stamina. Coin. EXP star jellies. Look! So much stuff that is being wasted here. Make sure to go do this. This is uh, not good. Okay. 
Cookie Alliance. Cookie Alliance is hard. But Master 2? Hey, that's pretty good. Ah, once again, pure, van uh, pure Vanilla Server, you have 2.9. You won't be... I don't think you're going to be able to reach uh, Master 2. I think I'm, ra I'm around that area and I'm Master 3 right now. So... Yeah. I'm sure you just use the one. One team alone is probably enough to do so. Um... Uh, but yeah, definitely this right over here. You need to focus on this uh, Do these So all of the things that really matter right the free resources that you should be doing is not being taken care of right now So definitely you need to do that right do this do this and then uh, And then the rest of them it really comes down to you know investing your time and things like that uh, I think this one you're on the final one. I want to guess you're on the final one Right? Yeah, final strike. Final strike is pretty hard. Um, you need to use caramel arrow, and I believe you need to use eclair if I was correct. Yeah, if I'm correct. And then you use uh, hollowberry and dark cow as your uh, frontline tanks. And then, and then what you can do here is you just replace it with yours. Okay. If if your if your stars are high, does it matter? Oh, dude, yours their star is higher, sadly. <laughs> but the damage resistance is not very high. You need at least forty something percent for this, if I remember correctly. This boss is stupid. Well, it's pretty darn hard. So um, I I believe the team was Dark Cow, Hollowberry, Caramel Arrow, Eclair, and then Pure Vanilla. And then you can beat this. But you need to have like crazy damage resist on all of them. Yeah, so you can try that out if you guys want if you want to. Uh, but overall, not a bad not a bad account. I would say the main thing you need to really work on is definitely going to be the lavatory, and then you need to clean up your islands. Uh, you definitely need to clean up the islands. And then um, uh, you know, just the continuous uh, routine stuff, which is going to be like topping farming, topping upgrades, and then doing your wishes. I don't know how much wishes you're doing. Uh, you should be sending that one. Uh, you haven't done your daily wishes yet, so make sure to do those and things like that. All right. Um, I mean, it just really comes down to uh, how much time you're going to invest in it and uh, what kind of return you want. All right. In this game, time is really the biggest aspect of your progression so that's what i would definitely uh, recommend you to do for this account oh man oh crap i didn't check the town uh hall yeah this is okay i don't recommend going too crazy in expanding here guys just because you these stats are just so stinking important. Okay, so question: Have you ever thought of playing other games? I think a lot of yeah, I have another account, Sapphire Knight. I've been uploading uh, Tower of Fantasy uh, content on my other account. I don't know if you if you know the other account. Somebody did say to advertise it, uh, but it's this one right here. I've been I've been uh, I've been posting videos on that account. If you guys want to go and check it out, I've been live I've been live streaming on it too. I think the other day I live streamed for like uh, I think for a good like six hours on that account. Yeah, six hours the day. Thanks, Pancake. Appreciate it. Yeah, the second account, the second account is really chill. Okay, that's that's just a really chill account. Yeah, it's just uh where I just go and play my games. Um, I don't I don't like I don't have any language barrier. Um, and I mean by language barrier, like you know, uh, or I I guess a filter. Yeah, <laughs> I say what I want. So, yeah. Uh, it comes down to what, what you guys want, so. Uh, 
Yeah, but that's that's uh that's uh that's the thing that I want to uh, let you guys know of. All right, uh, PVE cotton or pure vanilla? Mm, uh, I would say both are good. Both are really good. Uh, but episode when it comes down to episode fourteen later on, uh, cotton is gonna become like your best friend. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna become your best friend. Uh, just because it it allows you to uh, tank some of the injury stacks, episode 13 and 14, uh, it's just going to be really important. Yeah. Uh, Cotton is still very generally, like, you know, used in a lot of uh, different teams. So. Um, Silva. I would say as of right now, Cream Unicorn is someone you can definitely promote a little bit. Especially if you are uh, if you just started two days ago, you still have a lot of ways to gain crystals. So I don't uh, think you, you need to save like a million crystals right now. I would say uh, you definitely could, um, yeah, could spend some extra crystals and promote Cream Unicorn. Just because Cream Unicorn is going to be a, definitely a good cookie to use throughout the entire gameplay. Um... Yeah. All right. So, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it on this uh, for this account review as of right now. How many how many days do we have left on the um on our on our cream unicorn banner? Sixteen. So next update should come out then I'm I'm sure. Fifteen days, yeah. So in a, in about two weeks, we should get our next next banner. Because uh, two weeks ago, right? It was two weeks ago we got our we got our guild boss battle, right? Yeah, it's two week, almost two weeks ago we got our guild boss battle, and then now two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it should it makes sense every in about two weeks. What's the new update? We have, we have no idea. We absolutely have no idea what the next update is going to be as of right now, but it's been a week and a half. It came out on Thursday. Yeah, it came out on Thursday on the 11th, so it's it's been about 10 days now. So about a week and a half, yeah. So the only thing that, uh, the only reason why you guys might feel like Eclair is falling out of the meta is just because Eclair is not being used inside of the guild boss battles right now. The debuff debuff that Eclair used to, you know, put on like other cookie other bosses is not being used right now. That's the probably the only reason why you might feel like, you know, Eclair is not not being uh very good. That's the only reason why. But overall Eclair is still stinking awesome. Stinking broken. To be honest with you guys, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Red Velvet Dragon, you still need to use Eclair. If you don't use Eclair in Red Velvet Dragon, then you're you're missing out. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, they revealed it. Why can't Eclair be used on Lico bosses? Because you you don't need to you don't need to uh, weaken the weaken the oozes. You you just want to keep the ooze alive. You just need to all you need to do is just keep damaging the ooze. That's all you need to do, really. The ooze ooze is just literally like a it's like a it's like a sandbag, you know. So, do you like the path to victory? This is literally, but 
and what, I mean, what what do you not like about this? This is literally just free free stuff that you just you just put in the back of the mind and then you just wait, right? If you're consistently at least getting master three, then I mean, you're just gonna you're gonna eventually get all these. It doesn't really matter. I mean, just I don't really have any preference on that. Oh yeah, I didn't finish this. I have never done this. You know that I've never. <laughs> I did, I did not, I did not spend any time doing this. I should do this. Now I think about it. This is like, this is, this is something that I can literally just like do on, do in one day. Just free resources I'm not getting. Like, what is this? 10 of these? 5,000? It's like meaningless. <laughs> should I do it right now? All right, so I haven't done all any of these. Actually, so something the only only reason why some of these are done is because I was probably going back to do some of these, like either farming for something, and then I did it. Uh, we'll just we'll just finish the into the unknown. Uh, let's see, clear one national team with one cookie. Oh, okay. Who should I use? I will use nah, not oyster. Let's just use cotton. My one and only cotton. Cotton, cotton, cotton. And go. I believe time jumpers do not work on this one, okay? Uh, so don't 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 waste your time jumpers for these. Uh, auto, 1.5 times speed. And boom boom boom. Uh, just the sheeps will go and wreck all of these guys. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh god, if it was master mode, I quit. I would not. I would not do it. Actually, I could totally use Ginger Brave. Now I think about it. My Ginger Brave is like level... I don't think it's 70, but definitely could have done it. Yeah. There we go. Easy, easy peasy. And there we go. Ooh, that's gonna be one. Two dash nine. Same thing here. We're just gonna use cotton. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is such a waste of time. I feel like. Will golden cheese be range? Yes, I think so. Uh, and radius. Um, I think it will just come down to uh your top your toppings as well as. Um, your cookies. If you're using the same team, right? If you're using the same team and you're not getting the same result, it comes down to your lavatory, your toppings, uh, your bonds, and then, um, you know, your ascension and promotion and stuff like that. If you have the same toppings, then it comes down to, you know, it comes down to the ascension and everything. A lot of the videos that you guys see, right? Uh, within Cooking Our Kingdom right now, especially the guide ones, you guys gotta realize, right, that, you know, main, main people who makes these videos for, um, for Cooking Our Kingdom, they've played for a very long time, as well as they have, uh, spent, you know, a decent amount of money. So, their bonds, their lavatory, all of those things, ascension, are going to be higher than yours. So, it's something that you can work towards, but you should not be expecting the same result every single time. Okay? Unless your bonds, lavatory, and everything is exactly the same as theirs. Right? So, um, even when I look at guys and the things that, you know, people, people share sometimes and try to... Uh, you know, try to work exactly the same. It doesn't work always exactly the same. And it always doesn't, uh, you know, sometimes I do more damage, sometimes I do less damage. So, just, it just comes down to, you know, all of the extra little things. If, if your toppings are perfected, right, if your toppings are, like, on the same, like, on par with those uh, guides, then it really just comes down to that portion of things. So don't get discouraged. It's something that you can work towards. Um, not something that, you know, 
uh, is impossible. So, but there you go. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, there's so many like these one cookie thing. What the? Valorant? I think my friends are playing Valorant right now. I can definitely play Valorant. If you guys want me to play Valo. I know my friend's playing it right now. He's streaming it on uh, Twitch. Is it okay to be afraid of a team that has a maxed out attack scroll? Well, it depends on your level of the scroll. Sometimes, if it's like a one or two level difference, uh, you definitely can uh, make it up for uh, with a better topping set. That's not the case, then yes, I would generally not versus somebody who has like a crazy amount of, you know, uh, level difference on you, so. Um, I think they did say that uh, Golden Cheese is going to come out this, uh, this year, yeah. 3-14... Just go with this team and just steamroll it. I guess that also that's also a good way of putting it. I mean, yeah, generally, if they have a maxed out scroll, probably they're going to have a maxed out or a good tombing, so. Yeah. Uh, damage is this mixed set, like... Standard, 30%, John. I would say 30% is a, is a good standard. Yeah. There's that one, two support cookies. Um, let's go with the oyster and cotton. What does power level really mean in arena? Yesterday I was versing a lot of teams higher than me. So the power is generally rec uh you know calculated by the amount of attack stance as well as crit stats a, a cookie has that's generally how um how it's how it's uh, calculated so just because uh, a you know a team has a ridiculously high attack doesn't necessarily mean they have the best team uh, so it really just comes down to whether you have a better synergy and your you know your skill like order and everything is better or not yeah there we go five dash one dude oh my gosh such a such a boring thing <laughs> uh do you know what team herb is currently being used i don't think herb is really being used inside of the uh inside of the arena just Maybe just for counters. To counter someone like... Um, to counter some other teams. Like, I would say... Caramel Arrow comps. Uh, but generally, you're not going to see too many herbs right now. Just because... Cream Unicorn is just better. Agent Aiden! 11 months, almost a year. Seriously, oh my gosh. You're like one of the OGs. Like, literally the first ones who have, like, actually got membership on my uh, on my channel. So, thank you so much for that. That's actually insane. And now I think about it, it's been, like, how many... It's been a year and, what, four months since I started this YouTube channel? So, wow. That is crazy. 11 months. You're, you rock, man. 
对对对对对对。What cookies are good in arena? I would say go and、uh, work with whatever you are using inside of the world exploration as of right now. But generally, it's gonna be like yeah, wild berry,、uh, either caramel arrow. I would say cotton is not being used too much inside of the arena right now it, within、uh, the top ranks, just because cream unicorn is just a better support right now or a better healer.、Um, so I would say probably just use uh, use pure uh, cream unicorn. The damage is this silence heal is kind of kind of crazy right now. So. What's the minimum level for lab? There's no minimum level for lab. I would say you should always be focusing on lab whenever you have the chance to. Higher is always better. Four dash one in thirty seconds. I remember your first video. Oh, well, you know that the first video that I posted. That video is a different account than my main account. Yeah, that account is not this account, by the way. That is a new account.、Uh, that account, I still have that account. I just need to log into it. It's it's the one that I have pure vanilla on. I randomly got a pure vanilla, and I I yeah. So, four dash twenty with two defense. This one has two defense. Um, strawberry cream. I always recommend you um level up your statue rather than your slots. Your slots, it just it helps, but it's not like you know. It's not something that you should definitely spend、uh, your shards on all the time.、Mm -hmm. Do I have an old account or deleted videos? What do you mean by old account? My old old like YouTube channel? Oh well, you can't review my old account because I haven't played on it. So it, there's like no point of reviewing it. There's nothing that's <laughs> nothing there. I don't have a deleted YouTube channel, but I do have an old YouTube channel. I have um, I have multiple YouTube channels, guys. Yeah. Does a guild recruit in? Huh? I don't know what you mean by that, Martino. No, uh, but they're not active. So I would say just, just uh, if you go to my community tab or channel tab on my main YouTube channel, which is this one right here, uh, the active ones are gonna be the ones that I've I put on that one. Yeah, mainly. Yeah. What is a good defense team in arena currently using you, uh, unicorn vamp espresso finish here? That's uh, that's pretty decent, Austin. I would say that's still a decent team to use. I uh, I I don't know. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. So there's a lot of different ways of tricking people. Uh, one way is to switch out your treasures. So maybe if you're like using um, I don't know. For example, if you're using scroll jelly watch and monocle, you can change out the monocle for like um, for example, like the um. What would I say?、Uh, the insignia, or you can change it out for the enchanted robe, and then make it make it think that oh, they're using a summoner com or、uh, like a you know a different comp than what they would normally think it is. So there's a little tips and tricks、uh, doing it like that, like you know, yeah. So.、Uh. Sheriff and guild? What do you mean by sheriff and guild? I don't know what what it means by that. Is quad tank actually good in P PVP? Is not bad. Uh, not the best thing right now, just because of the fact that 
um sorbet has been running around the running around the whole uh, arena for a while so i don't really recommend it too much yeah But if you guys are interested in Tower of Fantasy or MMO, MMO uh, anime style MMO RPG game, I, I suggest you play Tower of Fantasy and uh, join my server and uh, join my crew. I need some more people in my crew right now. <laughs> Started back last year, early last year. Radius, it's gonna be before the live stream, yeah. Before the live stream. Oh yeah, if it's uh yeah, if you're playing on the phone, definitely uh it it can it can be a bit tough on your phone. Not on console yet. It's not on console yet. Yeah. Tower of Fantasy. That's my. That's what my main. Uh, or not my main channel. My secondary channel is ba uh, mainly. Uh, I'm mainly creating ch uh, content for that right now. I've been playing it a lot. I've been uh, enjoying it. So. I don't play Valorant too much anymore. I, I I generally don't find the game very fun right now. <laughs> I don't play Genshin. I, I I'm probably never gonna play Genshin again. Yeah. I generally don't find very uh, single player games very fun. I'm on NA Radiant. Any server, so it has to be any server, and then a radiant. Na radiant. Six dash ten. No Solaris, dude. Every like other like all the other players are in Solaris. I don't know if I want to play Roblox either, guys. I've been, I've invested a lot of time on my uh, on Tower of Fantasy right now. Some of the comps are still pretty good, decent for um for PvP, yeah. Caramel arrow, finish your dark cow espresso and cream your corn. Uh that's not actually a bad team. You can actually work with uh, replacing Dark Cow for someone like Vampire or even uh, Rai right now, and actually will be pretty good too. Yeah. It's Tower of. If you guys go to my second channel, um, you guys can def you can you can know exactly uh what it is uh what what server and the uh, thing is because i have it up on the top the left corner of my screen but any of the videos should have it up to ambush six dash three to ambush Um, Cotton, I would say, kinda, I would say, yeah, kinda, Cotton has fallen off a little bit, right? Just because of the introduction of Korean Unicorn? In a way, yes, I would say so. I don't know if there's a standard arena team right now. If it's a standard, it's more like Caramel Arrow, Fit and Seer, uh... Espresso, Vampire, Cream Unicorn. Yeah, Vamp Espresso is kind of like the standard right now just because, you know, OG Magic Candy, everybody started using it. 
Uh, now you can replace Vampire with Rai and things like that and still work out. Financier is definitely someone you should be uh, investing in. Cream Unicorn is someone you should be investing in. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can buy a financier right now. Let me just double check for you guys. Yeah, it's crunchy chip. Oh, I should buy crunchy chip on my main or my no cookie gotcha account right now. Oh, seven dash nineteen. But what's it? Shoot. Two cookie. Dark Cacao, Caramel Arrow, Cream Unicorn, Espresso Seafair. Yeah, that's actually not a bad team either. And no, Rai is pretty good. Don't, don't, don't bash on Rai. The reason why Rai is pretty good too is because Rai works, uh, synergizes really well with Caramel Arrow right now because of the attack uh, speed boost. Yeah. That's the reason why Rai is really good. Also, um, and also, you know, Vamp and Rai works differently. Rai targets the lowest HP cookie, right? Vamp attacks the rearmost enemy. So that's the reason why um, Rai is being used a lot inside of the arena right now too. They work differently. You can't you can't banish on one. That reasoning is not good enough to bash on Rai and say Rai is worse than uh, Vampire. So, Ryman is not going to work anymore, guys. It's just not worth it. Not worth uh, using Ryman comp. It's not strong enough. It doesn't deal much damage. Only against the summoner comp, I would recommend it. But nowadays, you know, just, just better comps to counter summoner comps. Darker cow for story, mainly. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. You can't really say that's the, that's, you can't really say this is going to be like, this is going to be the, um, this is going to be the order of how the, how the magic candies are going to come out because. Well, actually, maybe you can. But what about these guys? These guys not gonna get magic candy? I don't. I don't think this will definitely like be the order of anything, because these two got it first, or these three got it first, and then the back two got it. So I don't think it's gonna necessarily just always be like this. Darker cow is absolutely like a necessity inside of uh, episode fourteen. Oh, I'm almost done. I want to say Latte, but I don't know. I want to say Latte. I, I wish Latte would get it. And by the way, guys, um, there's a lot of fake leaks out there right now. And I mean by fake leaks, um, a lot of videos, short videos, um, sharing misinformation about the next updates and things like that. Uh, especially like, you know, the magic candy. It's very easy. Okay, it's very easy to replicate the magic candy um, skill. All you need to put is that golden banner around the stinging skill, and it, it becomes a magic candy icon. So don't believe everything that's out in the internet right now. Um, I, I honestly don't recommend my, my viewers watching those videos and spreading it and uh, helping the algorithm with it. Uh, but, you know, it just depends. If you guys really want to watch it, then... You guys go do that. Oh, 
What treasure? Whatever I'm using right now, except for the pin cushion. These two should be standard. The scroll as well as the jelly watch should be the standard. Cotton is definitely not getting magic candy for a long time. For a long time. I would say Dark Cow. Definitely choose Dark Cow out of the five if you don't have Dark Cow. For the legendary slash ancient chest that they're they're giving out. Yeah. Clotted cream. Yeah, clotted cream is still decent in PvP. They still use it. I've seen it. Almost done. Two bombers. Two bombers. We got Sea Fairy and Alfagato. Um, I would want them to get a buff. Pure Vanilla and Hollow Berry. I would hope they would do something with the story so that they, they make it, like, you know, it matches their buffs and stuff. Like, oh, they're getting a buff because of this story and blah, 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 blah. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah, episode 14 clotted, not the greatest because they're shields that will reflect damage and clotted will basically suicide. Uh, not the best. <laughs> Like, all the damage reflection is just, yeah, it just kind of kills off uh, Claudius, so. 8-21. Is, uh, yeah, Purple Yam's pretty good. I would say Purple Yam's uh, pretty darn good right now for World Exploration, Master Mode, and uh, even Arena, actually. Purple Yam is actually decent in Arena too. There's a there's a lot of different teams that you can use uh, for uh, Purple Yam with the Arena. Yep, yep, yep. You definitely could use. Uh, Crit Com not recommended. Yeah. Yeah. The. So a lot of the style of comms has changed over the over the seasons. So the speed comms that we think about back in the days were like you know Madeline, Lilac, Minchoko. Uh, it's not it's not that anymore. It's not like you want to be doing those anymore. It's like you're just using Caramel Arrow and then using Enchanted Row with Rye, and that's like that's like the new standard speed comp nowadays. Eight dash twenty four range two. So it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. Like the, like I said, like, um, Ryman is not going to be like great anymore. Like the, the cookies are just too tanky and there's just better cookies to use right now. So. Should I get espresso or rye magic candy? Mm, that's a that's a that's a tricky one. I would recommend if you don't have vampire to go with rye, but uh, if you want to progress in story mode, probably espresso first. Yeah, it would just come down to situation wise. Like, what do you need? No. And with that, we are done. That, that took uh, 30 minutes to do it. But there we go. We finished it into the unknown. Now that should be gone out of my little little thing right here afterwards. And it is gone. Bye-bye. Woo! That took a long time. Unnecessary long time. There's crimps. Nah, yeah, I mean, yes, kind of, maybe so. But they're just, like I said, 
there's just better comps out there to use than something like a crit comp and those things. You know what I, you know? It's like, do you need to use it? No, you don't. You can definitely use something else and still make it work out. No! I definitely did not need to send that one. No, I have so much to go until the 800,000. Oh my god. You want me to do a, go a costume? Sure, why not? Boop. I didn't get anything. I don't know why I feel that golden cheese story will do something to do with the greed, like the Midas touch story. Probably, I mean that's what the that's what the theme is, right? Golden cheese is a greedy, greedy, greedy king or queen of her kingdom. So. Um, there's no lore, but there's a, I guess I can, you can call it a lore, but there's a background story for, uh, Golden Cheese. Mm -hmm. There is a background story for Golden Cheese, though. Yes. Uh. The chocolate altar is pretty good for the crit damage. There's only uh, certain ones that allows you to upgrade the uh, or increase the crit damage boost. So crit damage boost is pretty good. There is a background story. Let me let me go grab the book real quick. Let me see if there. So the art book, I believe the art book has a background story of Dark uh, Golden Cheese Kingdom, like the history of it, like all the other kingdom. Let me just double check here real quick. Uh, let's see, Golden Cheese. There it is, Golden Cheese. Golden Cheese Kingdom founding. Or there's Golden Cheese King. Oh, uh, Golden Cheese Cookie. There is, with an enormous amount of golden cheese and the dough, this cookie gleams as a fashioned of pure gold. Golden cheese cookie dwells in the uh, gilded palace. Huh? Yeah, gilded palace on top the highest mountain of the golden cheese valley. Everything that surrounds her shines with uh, opulence. Uh, so bright, it is hard to look up. The godlike queen rules over the uh, cheese birds of the valley with a golden fist, uh, dictating everything from hairstyles to diet. And the queen's mercy on someone who sneezes around her a single peck of precious golden uh, or precious cheese powder blown off might have dire consequences. So that's her, that's her like um, bio. <laughs> that's her bio. Hi, Roll. Is your opinion who's the in your opinion who's the best uh, epic yeah, right now? Well, if we count no magic candy, uh, I would say Claire or Constant. But with magic candy right now, probably like Espresso or Vampire. Yeah, she's a dictator. Uh, so, so she's a dictator. Oh, it's the art book. You can find this in cookierunstore.com. But yeah, she's a uh, golden cheese is a dictator. Founding for five thousand years, the golden e egg lay do dormant, and it then it cracked, illuminating the whole world with blinding light. And from this light, golden cheese cookie was born to free the small cheese birds from Cheetahs the mole's tyranny. 
not only freedom but endless riches and uh, peace brought uh, wrote the uh, cookies and the cheeseburgers bowed their heads and proclaimed her queen for as endless war uh, or for as endless was their gratitude before the great cookie hero so that's the history so she she was born out of an egg is what she said but now she dictates uh, she's basically a tyrant herself mm -hmm. but a lot of these are concept arts yeah but with golden cheese is probably going to be the uh, mine the mine is probably going to come out with golden cheese uh, kingdom Tradition dictates that all uh, denizens of the Golden Chiefs Kingdom uh, must twice a day bow towards the great statues of Golden Cheese Cookie every morning, afternoon, and evening. Another tradition dictates that all day, wait, all cheeseburgers must pay tribute in gold to Golden Cheese Cookie every year on the day of Golden Cheese Cookie's birthday. On every gold, uh, on every cheeseburger's first flight day, every victor. Ah, no, every victory over Cheetahs, the mole, mole day, every tasty meal day, pros, proper sleep day. Is there really a day without anything to celebrate? Yeah, so you can really see, right, uh, that golden cheese cookie dictates the entire kingdom. Yep. Is it possible to get all Disney cookies before the event ends? Uh, yes, definitely. If you get lucky, I don't know if. Oh my God, I don't know. Um, I don't know how how much luck is involved or is gonna re be required, but. Do you think Frost Queen is flop? Well, actually, Frost Queen has gained its val uh, her value back, within the abyss. Uh, so in her in the abyss, it's actually pretty darn good right now. Um. I will make another video on that, but ah, I think golden cheese should be used in other other things than uh, than guild. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll just end the end the live stream here for today. Maybe I'll get on later uh, on my secondary account. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't subscribed to my secondary account, please do because I am uh, I am going to post a lot more and uh, I will stream more like different games on that account. Uh, and I'm trying to get monetized on that account as well. So if you guys can definitely help out with it, I will greatly appreciate it. We do have a uh, thousand one hundred eighty-seven subscribers on that account right now. So. Uh, getting close, getting close. Uh, yeah, so. No, 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 no. If they, if they ever like. Gosh, if they if they release new cookies with magic candies, that will kill the game. No, that that that's, that will kill the game. It's pinned on top. It's pinned on top. The the secondary channel is pinned on top. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna head out for now, guys. Thanks for uh, joining the live stream. I will probably live stream in the morning tomorrow. Yeah, but I don't. I, I'm not too sure as of right now. But I'll probably live stream in the morning tomorrow. That's that's just what I'm planning as of right now. But yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out. Take care. See you. See you.